You cannot break these rules. I will now read them in no particular order. What's going on? It's Jason Heath. People ask me all the time, how do you figure out good fingerings? In this video, we're going to dig into the 10 rules of fingering, plus the secret rule that rules them all. Rule number one, and by the way, we have all these as a PDF that you can download in the description. Play at least two notes per position. So if I was playing A, B, C, D, I'd want to do two notes, two notes. I wouldn't want to go like A, B, C, D. Try to be as efficient as possible. Rule number two, never cross strings for a half step. We don't want to go F sharp, G. We get this flangey sound. We don't want to go G to A flat. It's more distance than we want. We want to keep it consistent. Half step there, half step there. Don't be crossing strings for a half step. Rule number three, play across the strings for technical passages. So if you're playing something fast, you can just cross the strings. You don't want to be going up and down the bass. Rule number four, shift up and down the string for melodic passages. So if we're playing something slow and lyrical, we get that vocal quality when we do the shift. Rule number five, don't cross strings with the same finger, especially when you're going down. That means you have to hop and you're gonna break the sound. No matter how good you are at it, there's gonna be a little break in the sound, so just don't do it. Rule number six, don't play open strings in lyrical passages. It sounds so weird if you're like. You wanna close those notes for lyrical passages. Rule number seven, and this sounds confusing, but it's not, shift higher on lower numbered fingers. And down means up on bass and up means down, so it's kind of confusing. But if we are playing A, B, C sharp, we want to shift early and we want to shift with the first finger. We don't want to be shifting with four. We don't want to go one, four, four, for a variety of reasons. You want to shift up on lower numbered fingers. Well, number eight's like the inverse. We want to shift down, meaning up, because bass world is reversed, we want to shift on higher number fingers going this way. So if we go C sharp, B, A, we want to go four, four, one. Rule number nine, group notes together rhythmically. So if I'm playing something like this, I'm trying to group them by the beat. One, two, three, four. I'm shifting on the beat. Simple. Rule number 10, whenever possible, avoid crossing two strings. So if I have G to C, I want to play that G closed, and play C right there. I don't want to play open G, C, because that's more bow crossing than I need. I don't want to cross all those strings. But also, the secret rule that controls them all. We break these rules all the time. In fact, I really shouldn't be calling them rules at all. They're really more like guidelines, but I wanted you to watch the video, so. I'd like to thank today's sponsor, the Wabase Institute of the Honeywell Arts Academy. They're accepting applications for their 2022 summer program. The deadline is February 15th. I think this program is so cool. I was there in 2021 and got to experience it in person, and it's such a unique program. It is a full scholarship performance institute. It fosters an inclusive, supportive environment where ideas are freely shared from teacher to student and vice versa. All programs at the Honeywell Arts Academy focus on fostering the human spirit by performing within the community to use music as a means to connect and heal. Eric Larson, Hal Robinson, Renan Meyer, congratulations on this long running program. Folks, get your application in by February 15th and I hope to see you there. With double bass fingerings, it's often a matter of choosing between the lesser of two evils. There are just so many challenges, the size of the instrument. One of my favorite methods though is the pivot system. Check out this video, we've got linked up and we'll see you in the next one.